AGS method in modern medicine is a gold standard for the exclusion of genetic diseases in a future child. The main task of the IVF program is not just getting a pregnancy, but the birth of a healthy baby. Precisely for this purpose, pre-implantation genetic diagnosis is used. Normally, an embryo should contain 23 pairs of chromosomes. This is the chromosome set of a person, his or her genetic passport, which is called a karyotype. However, it can be broken. For example, in the process of crushing of an embryo, abnormalities can also occur in the parent cells initially carry chromosomal changes. This can be the cause of vanishing of pregnancy or its long absence despite all efforts. The clinic of Professor Feskov passed all the stages of PGD development in the world, from the diagnosis of chromosomal abnormalities in the embryo at the level of individual chromosomes to the determination of thin point specific mutations. Currently, the clinic uses the most accurate method of pre-implementation diagnosis, the method of sequencing a new generation. This method allows you to diagnose the most substantial structural disorders of chromosomes. It happens that an extra copy of a chromosome appears in the embryo. This is called trisomy. Trisomy causes severe illnesses. For example, Down syndrome, Patel, or Edwards syndrome. Or it happens that a copy of a chromosome or a part of a chromosome disappears. In some cases, there is an exchange of chromosome sites where this should not occur. The method NGS allows to diagnose all these disorders. If we imagine that the genome of an embryo is a large book, then the NGS method allows you to study each chapter and every sub-item of this book in order to choose a healthy embryo. After applying the NGS method, the percentage of healthy pregnancy in the IVF program increases from 45 to 70 percent. The main task of reproductive medicine is to get a healthy baby. We know how to do it. <laughs>